Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom and the Beg Brigade. Welcome back to my channel. This is Mornings with Jesus, our daily devotional. And this one is for Sunday, March 26th. And it starts with a Bible verse. Don't be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Now our inspirational story. I had an insightful dream where I was riding a bike through our town of Boulder, Colorado, carrying all three of my adult sons. One of the handlebars and one on the handlebars and the other two were in a cart excuse me i was pulling a one one was in a cart i was pulling i was struggling to ride up a hill i glanced at my feet exerting all of my strength but i was unable to pedal because of the heavy load this dream grace gracefully awakened me to a grasp that i still worry about my children even though they are capable adults I know the boys don't want me to worry about them, and Jesus doesn't want us to be anxious about anything either. He says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. John 14, 1. Learning to trust Jesus and actually letting go is an ongoing mom struggle for me. But awareness of my worry, such as a stressful dream, is a beginning to overcoming it. Reading scriptures like the one above and practicing what it says help too. I saturate my day, yeah, sat, saturate my day with prayers overflowing with gratitude. I tell Jesus every detail of my life. I ask for his unexplainable peace and to guard my heart and mind. Basically, I get off my bike and let Jesus pedal up the hill. Janine Blackmere. Faith step. Keep a notebook by your bed. If you remember a dream, write it down. Then contemplate it to see what message Jesus has for you. Oh, that's a lofty goal. I have some weird dreams lately. <laughs> I don't know if I want to interpret those. <laughs> Please remember that I love you and so does Jesus. And I will see y'all on the next one. Bye now.